Alrighty, welcome back to Crappy Design. But first, you wanna know what's not Crappy Design? Well, it's Creeper Aw Man merch available right now for a limited time only at represent.com slash Captain Sparkles. We got shirts, we got mugs, we got hats that I'm still waiting on receiving samples and might not get them before all this week's videos are recorded, but that's okay, link in the description. Feel free to check it out because it's not Crappy Design. Starting off with number 19, how do you mess up a reflection? Actually, as someone who has made their fair share of YouTube thumbnails, I can tell you exactly how you mess up a reflection by doing free transform and rotating 180 degrees instead of going into edit, transform, flip vertically. That was your mistake. You just didn't catch it before you put it into the final ad. I suppose it's almost like most advertisements are all post-production. There wasn't a reflection to begin with. Deceived. Number 18, use the woman's bathroom at your own risk. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, the lock is on the outside. I'm so used to the posts here on this subreddit where they like mess up the gender signs or something so you don't know which bathroom to go into. But no, you know, you use the woman's bathroom and someone, they may lock you in there. You might be using the bathroom for a very long time, which in my case would probably be good because I have to go to the bathroom quite a lot. So, you know, by the time I'd walk out, it's like, ah, I might as well go again. It'd be fine, honestly, no, no issues. Just switch that over to the men's bathroom. I'll, I'll put it to use. No problem. 17. These one-time use chargers. Really? One charge? Pre-charged one-time use to five hours talking text time. That's not crappy design. Like, I'm sure it does exactly what it says it does. It's just, what a waste. And also, if you had these being sold at a store, why would a customer ever buy them unless they're the only thing being offered and you don't actually offer any sort of rechargeable battery packs. I bet you that these could be recharged if they just had an input, but they can obviously sell more of them if they don't allow them to be recharged. But why would you do, why would you ever do that? Why would you just be like, you know what? Instead of buying a battery pack that I can keep using, I'll just keep spending money on these one-time use ones so that I can keep throwing them away into the trash as I drink out of my plastic water bottle. Why would I ever buy a one-time use rechargeable phone battery when I could just buy one that I can reuse. It's so dumb. Why would I ever, why would I do a thing like that? Mm. When I could just get one that I can reuse. I don't know why I would, it just doesn't make any sense when you think about it at the end. It just doesn't make any sense why you would just buy one that you, you can just reuse. I have YouTube on dark mode and every time I open the, open the app, it hits me with this blinding logo. I wouldn't know what that's like because I use all of my phone apps on light mode. <laughs> Am I a monster? Maybe, I'll leave that to you to decide, but yeah, I've never actually switched an app on my phone to dark mode unless it starts that way by default. So, I can see how this might be a thing though that, that is strangely off if you do want it to be in dark mode and it does this anyway, so I get you. My hammer, after I tried to pull a nail. I, uh, <laughs> wow, I hate to see the nail that you had to try to contend with. There must have been an absolute unit. Your hammer is literally tilting its head in shame. Just don't look at me. This wasn't supposed to happen. You weren't supposed to use me on a nail like that. You didn't tell me that this was the kind of nail that you were using me on. I wasn't prepared. The shame. Don't point that camera at me. I'm not, this is not my proudest moment right now. Or maybe this is a testament to your strength. What you should do is, is you should have marketed this differently. You should have been like, look at how strong I am that I bent my hammer, all right? That's how you should have posted this rather than it being the hammer that was weak. You're just yoked. My school's speed limit times. Wait, what, what? this guy looks so disappointed. <laughs> I've never seen a face of such disappointment at speed limits. He's got his supercar right behind the camera right there. And he's like, how am I supposed to keep track of this? I want to blast through here. Okay, obviously obeying the speed limit, but not the 25 mile an hour. I want to go through the, the better, higher up 50 mile an hour and there are no kids around. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this thing? This is unbelievable. 649 to 715, 752 to 822, 837 to 907, 203. But if, if you blast through there at 100 miles an hour at 202, Totally fine. Clock hits 203. Sorry, you're, go you're going off to prison. It's not gonna work. Egg tray with 11 slots. 
I guess eggs often do come in dozens or half dozens, right? I've never actually bought eggs in my life other than a couple times when it was immediately gonna be used for baking, but I've never like cooked it. Well, yeah, the omelets, I guess, that I made in the Jardon Poisons Himself video a very long time ago, but otherwise, I've never put to use an egg tray, so this isn't even something I'd think about. I had to take a moment and be like, why is that bad? Oh, because you buy them in dozens. Well, I guess alternatively, you could just keep them in the original thing and put them in the fridge that way. I'm sorry that happened to you though. Maybe they're trying to encourage you to get your fill of protein from at least one of the eggs before you put the rest in the refrigerator. Imagine walking out of that cabin and there's just a guy taking a piss right in front of you, blocking your way, so you have to wait there until he's done so you can pass. You shall not piss. It's the it's Gandalf's new line here. <laughs> it's such a bad spot. Like, I mean, is anybody actually gonna use that urinal? Can I also just add how much I dislike when they're just out like that? They don't even bother to put the dividers between the two. LA Convention Center, this exact situation exists where the urinals have no dividers, they're just up against the wall. If all the stalls are full, I like try to find the, the corner, kind of angle myself at 45 degrees away, but I can't angle myself too much because then someone coming out of the stall behind me could get a full full view. So it's like I have to try to, it's just, it's just weird, man. Just put dividers in. Who did this? Why did you do this? This is completely unnecessary. You just, nobody, and the person walking out of the stall doesn't just want a direct down the line view of everybody straight front and center. Like, nobody wants that. All right, just stop this. Rosa? Oh no. That, like in the thumbnail, I could tell what they, like, it just looked like blood. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep in a room that had those sheets on it. I'd just be too unsettled. It's like something out of a, I don't know, a Stephen King novel. I guess because Rose Red is a Stephen King novel. So, nah. Let's just make our plates look like they haven't been washed in four years. Or it just looks like you just got finished eating like a cookies and cream cake or something, which is good, except I don't want to be getting the plates after someone ate the cookies and cream. I want to be getting the plates with the cookies and cream cake on it so I can eat it and then make the plate look like that afterwards. But who, who, why? There's the, we had the ants plate the other time, an awful taste but great execution. Now we have just, just dirt, just, just, you know, before you glaze the plate over, just grab some dirt, throw it on there, then glaze it. It'll seal the dirt in and it'll look really elegant. And no one will ever wonder why the heck they can't scrape off everything. And you also can't tell if you've gotten rid of all the food on the plate when you're trying to clean it because it blends in with the existing dirt design. No, I don't think I will. Eat more potatoes. I don't know if it's crappy design. They, they look like potatoes. I mean, it's probably pretty hard to mess up just you know, putting potatoes in a bag. Sacks of potatoes probably come pretty equally across all suppliers, but uh, the strip, the demonetized sack looking, looking potatoes pointing to the potatoes does make me just ever so slightly uneasy about these particular potatoes. So Captain America might not be too off about this one. This nonsensical sidewalk design. Hmm, you know, the shortest Distance between two points is a straight line, but I think whoever did this kind of missed that memo. It's it's just the pit lane entry, okay? You know, you gotta build up some speed before you enter the moving traffic. So there there are people walking here, you know? If you just do that that entry right there, you might not have enough speed and you were just gonna get bowled over by someone power walking at extremely high speeds. Do you want that? No, you don't. You just, so this allows you to build up that speed while still entering perpendicularly. Um, but at least you'll see people coming. You get to check your blind spots as you're entering the, the, the wide open track there for people, the track for people, and you'll be good. This eliminates people on people accidents 98% of the time. This knuckle guillotine in my backyard. Yeah, I, that, that doesn't seem very nice. Um. <laughs> I'm sure everybody who has gone through that gate has learned their lesson and will remember not to do that ever again in the future. See, at least it's your backyard and not like an apartment building backyard. So hopefully less people have gotten caught out by this thing. 
and I would hate to see the aftermath of how you learned about this for the first time, but yeah, no, at least, you know, it's got the bar. You can grab the bars. There's alternatives here. I'm sorry that you had to learn that the hard way, presumably. Actually, on second thought, I'm not so hungry. Not, you don't want those potatoes? Nah, it's fine, I'll eat them. Hit the spot. <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whew. A little bit of, nope, not even gonna say the word. Not even gonna say the word of the original image as to where that, what that is reminiscent of. I'm assuming that it's supposed to be like a donut or a pie or something, but why is there that little hole in the middle of it? You didn't have to do that. Have you, you could have, there's so many ways that you could have done this so that it didn't look like that thing. You could have just removed the hole. You could have had him not making a winky face and doing what looks like he's reaching around behind. There's just you, so many ways. But instead you went this way and it's, <laughs> whew. I bet whatever they serve there, oh, it's it's hamburgers apparently, judging by the sign on top. I, I bet their hamburgers are great. Absolutely delicious. Salads, possibly even better. This pillow at my grandparents' house. Sample text. <laughs> Honey, I, I forgot my glasses. Do you think this pillow looks okay? Oh yeah. Yeah, sweetie, it's, uh, it's, it looks like uh, flowers. I forgot my glasses too, sadly, but uh, it looks very nice. It's got colors on it. I think the kids will love it when they come over. All right, let's get it, honey. We'll, we'll ring it out at the checkup. And uh, I'm sure everyone will be perfectly happy with, with this beautiful floral pillow. I think it's floral, I can't really tell. I'm sure it's got a beautiful word up there, something nice that everyone will enjoy looking at. Yes, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, Ethel. Yes, Boris, I, I like it too. Ethel and Boris, I, I don't know that's why that's what I went with, but absolutely. Fashion is evolving. I, mm, I mean, there is, there is probably a market for this. It might be people who, you know, are at a at a particular location where others are giving, there's a lot of do dollar bills flowing around and and you need a place to hold that dollar bill. So you gotta put this on and it's it's what it is. It's a dollar bill holder. You gotta have some, what else are you gonna do? Nowhere else to put it otherwise, so it's very practical. You gotta, gotta have something there, okay? So that's what this is for. The Imperial System. Oh boy, we getting roasted out here, folks. I know, I know it doesn't make sense, okay? But still, I tend to Go, always, even when I'm offered something in, in kilometers or centimeters or kilos, I always convert back into Imperial units just because it's easier for me to reference to other things. And I know it's bad. I should just get used to it, but whatever. Yep, 12 inches to a foot, three feet to a yard, 5,280 feet to a mile, 16 ounces to a pound, and then divide the inches into inverse powers of two because why not do that? And and yes, month, day, year, day, month, yep, 10, 10, 10. I know, I know it's more logical the way that you do it everywhere else in the world. But then I'm also sometimes confused in the UK because they'll talk about things in kilos sometimes while also doing miles an hour. And I'm like, are you guys doing a little bit of both there? And I don't know where to, I don't know what's what, I don't know which measurements you refer to for what kind of thing temperature versus uh length and ver yep i just i don't know i don't know so that confuses me even more at least we are fully committed to being illogical where some places seem to mix it up and then i'm even more confused but anyway but anyway i know i know it makes a lot more sense to be on base 10 i'm i'm fully aware of this okay all right cool <laughs> thanks for the rest of the world why is the ocean filling up with plastic? I, yeah, why? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there are maybe better ways to package this via like a, a little, a thinner paper bag. Hopefully these will get recycled, but I know even recycling is not even close to 100% efficient and some of it still goes to trash anyway and this is less crappy design, I think, and more just a commentary on society and excess packaging. And this is a larger issue than just these particular Madeline cookies. And 
I don't know if crappy design is necessarily the right word for it, so as so much as um, just reevaluating things a little bit. And the top for the last month, every single front door in my uni halls. Okay, so what is the issue here? All right, so you can't, you can just, oh, wow. Uh, oh, whew. And will they get mad at you if you do something to, like, seal up the mail slot? I don't know how important the mail slot is, but I do know that I never received mail when I was at university. Now, maybe that means nobody loves me, but really, what's coming through that except for bills? I don't want to receive bills. No, thank you. I'm good. I mean, I, I don't even know where the mail pickup was for us at school. It must have been somewhere. Did I ever pick up mail? I can't even remember when I was in the dorm for the year. Yeah, you should probably seal that up, though. That's a serious problem. What the heck? How? What the heck, dude? Burglars, come one, come all. You can just easily get into every single dorm room here. Oh, you locked yourself out? No, you didn't. You can just get back. It's a, it's a feature, okay? Kids lock themselves out of their rooms all the time. We just... We implemented something so that you don't have to worry about that. That's... Okay, yep. No, that deserves top of the month. Um... You should, yeah, no, just, just drill some holes in there. Just, uh, be like, no, nah, this is your fault. You're not going to charge me and keep my security deposit. Like, I, people can break into my dorm. I've saved you guys a headache of having to deal with police reports when someone comes in and steals my stuff. Okay, you idiots. Wow. All right, that's it for the last month of crappy design. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these videos. Go to represent.com slash Captain Sparkles for Creeper on Man merch and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.